Hello, beautiful souls. Peace to the gods and the goddesses. Peace, love, light, and wisdom I'm sending to y'all right now. This is probably the realest message that I will ever, 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 ever give to our women. And I'm just going to just give it to y'all straight. I have been really, I'm not going to lie. I've been watching this whole uh, shit with, you know, Pharaoh and his his girl, his whatever she is. And to see, that's, that's a problem right there in itself. That's a problem right there in itself. And this is a problem that our women have. Stop opening your, your yoni-verse. Stop spreading your legs and opening up your womb and your portal to men who have not yet fully dedicated themselves to commitment to you. All right? And commitment that is on paper. This is why, I'm telling y'all, this is why we have to have balance. I don't care how hotep, how whatever, comedish, whatever we are. There is marriage is very, very, very beneficial. Okay. And when me and my husband got married, I told him straight up, marriage is love and it's business. It's love and it's business. And this is why so many of our women are left out, you know, as to stretch, just left out here to just kind of just float around, you know, because, and as single mothers, and we are the highest number of unwed women in the world. Black women are. Okay. And this is why we don't require a level of, of commitment from our men prior to committing to creating life with them. <laughs> okay. Like for real, stop opening your yoni verse to men that are not fully ready to, and dedicated to committing to you. As soon as I got pregnant, I said, we need to get married. We need to get married. And he had already planned on marrying me because <laughs> I'm just, I'm just wife. I'm just, I'm just that, I'm just that, I'm just that goddess. Like any man that's ever dated me for more than four months had wanted to lock my ass down. All right. Because men know what they, they know when they got their prize. They know men know when they got a prize. All right. But that is what I required. I was like, we, we're getting married. We are getting married. And yes, I am very, very aware of that matrix. I'm very, very aware of 3D or whatever, but I'm also balanced. We're in this world, but we're not of it. And there is a reason why there is a marriage protects the woman. It just does. It really, really does. This girl can't do anything. She can't do nothing. She can't. And really, honestly, she really, really, really doesn't have to. She And, and this is, and this is, this is. That, that whole situation just goes so deep. And it really is a message to the collective of, of young black women. You know, I just really, 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 really want to see our women heal. We really need to heal. The state of our black, the state of black women is, is, is trash. It's horrible. It's horrible. And I'm the sis that's going to tell the fucking truth. I'm probably the one sis that's going to just tell it like it is and tell the truth because one, I'm able to come at it from a totally different perspective. A lot of y'all are listening to women that are exactly where you are. <laughs> okay. They're, 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 they're unwed. They are single mothers. And this is not to downplay them. This is not to say that you're less than because of where you are in your situation. I'm not, I'm not saying you chose to be in this. I'm sure no woman chooses to be a single mother. I'm almost, po well, I don't know. Some women do, but I'm, I'm almost positive. Most majority do not choose to be in this situation. But what I'm saying is, is that this young lady is probably li more than likely listening to women that are exactly where she is. And that's just foolish. Okay. We need to start listening to people who have what it is that we don't have. 
and not be jealous and envious, but rather be inspired and, and see, huh, what is it that this sis does? How does she move? How does she get to where she is? Let me peek into her mindset. Let me try and sit at her table and see, huh, what it is that, how can I benefit from her insight instead of being so fucking jealous? All right. Start listening to women who have what you, what you desire. Okay. We have got to, as melanated women, get control of our emotions. We have got to control our emotions. Y'all, we run this shit. We run this shit. Do y'all hear me? Like, we run this shit. And this is just, this was a known fact amongst our people centuries ago. But for some reason, it's just, it's, it's flipped and it's inverted backwards. And now we're at the bottom. And we don't even have to be. We run this shit. And we really did run it in real life. Like, it was a known thing. The matriarchy ran. The black woman ran civilizations. She ran it. Now. There is a way in which we are to move and flow and operate as women in order to get what it is that we need from our men. And not even just men, but from the universe. And one thing that holds us back is how we, we, we're too emotional. This whole situation with this young lady, and I, I really, man, I just want to just... I really want to just sit down with her and just talk with her. I really do. I even reached out one time. We were like kind of going back and forth on um through messages and stuff. Me and Pharaoh, we talk every now and then, every now and then, not a lot. It's not like I know him. He knows me and nothing like that. But you know, he'll, he'll send some love. I'll send some love. I send him some love. But I really, 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 really want to just sit down with this young lady, like big sis to little sis, and just tell her like, yo, listen to me. Man, if y'all, man... That sis has it laid the fuck out. Do you hear me? She has what a lot of women uh, don't, will never be able to have, all right? I know she's hurting and I know she's caught up in her emotions right now. But sis, if you can see this, please listen to me. Please listen. Do not bite off the hand that is helping you right now. Don't do it. Do not do it. From what, from, I don't know exactly what's going on with their situation, so I don't want to talk on it too much. But if you, if you have a man that is one, trying to, he's willing to be in your children's life, for one, that's very important. You have a man that is like, look, I want my children involved in my life. That should be the first thing, like, man, that, look, that, I got a man that, that wants to be the father of my children and wants to help me take care of them. We may not be together. We may be at odds, but he wants to still love on and be here for my kids. That's the first main important thing. Do you know how many black kids, do you know how many young black women, young black girls don't, young black boys don't have that. They don't have that. They don't have the privilege of being able to call their dad, pick up the phone. Daddy, can I come see you this weekend? They don't have that shit. And they don't have the privilege of a man, a father wanting that. This He wants them in his life still. Like, what the fuck? And not only that, he's still taking, he's, he's, he's taking care of you. I understand. And this is why too, oh, it's just, it gets, it's so much. This is why too. We need to learn how to be independently dependent. And this is an art. All that, if you're too, balance, 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 my women, balance, my sisters, balance. Balance and wisdom. No, you do not fully, fully, fully ever depend on a man, on anybody. You want to always make sure you got your own shit. Always, always. My man... I don't pay a bill, not one. I pay my own, I pay my phone bill. My car's are, my car's paid off, okay? So I got, a, I got a car, 
is, is well. I take care of the maintenance whenever I need to, gas, whatever. But as far as like my home and stuff, he takes care of it. But I got my own shit though. I got my own shit. I have my own business. I have my own brand. I have a name for myself. I got talent. I have a voice, all right, that I use <laughs> to, to, to make money. I can always, I have a degree. I always have something to fall back on. We always have to set ourselves up for success. And, and it's in, it's a full, it's independence. However, I'm not like, nigga, I'm just independent woman. I don't need you. Da, 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 da. I don't want to be like that. I like being taken care of. I like having my shit set up. I like being able to not worry about the bills and have my man take care of me. And he likes it too. Men like to provide. That's what they are. They're providers and satisfiers. They enjoy taking care of you. So when you come up in that, in there, I don't need you to take, I don't need you to do, 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 do. I'm an independent woman. You're cutting off your own benefits, sis. Stop doing that shit. Y'all stop doing that. Men don't give a fuck about how much you make. They don't care. I've said this before. They don't give a damn. They're looking at how can I provide and satisfy? How can I fulfill a need for this woman? What is it that I need to do? And see, when you come up in there with that whole independent shit, that's how you end up getting these beta men and these men that end up depending on you for everything. And we don't like that. We end up getting tired of that. Like, damn, he's like a damn uh, bitch. Like, he's like a woman. I may as well be him. Okay? We like to be taken care of. We like to be provided for we like that and and really there's a part of us that needs that because of the feminine energy is the receptive energy all right so but when you are when you are too dependent where it's like you ain't got shit for yourself you know you 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 put yourself in a position to where you may not be able to win okay because you never know what could happen so you want to have balance balance and it is an art it's an art. See, and a lot of our women, a lot of our young black women are not able, they don't know this. They don't have access to this type of knowledge and wisdom because their mothers were in the same situation that they're in and their grandmothers were in the same situation that they're in. See, my grandmother told me, my grandmother and grandfather have been married 70 years. She told me a long ass time. My grandfather has taken care of everything. They got, they, they're set. You know, they got money. They got, they're set. She was a retired nurse. He was a retired military, you know, so they're set up. You know what I'm saying? But she always, I remember her telling me, Ryan, you always have a bank account for yourself. Always. You always have something for yourself. And he loved taking care of her. He would buy her cars and everything, whatever she wanted. Literally, he would get it for her. And she said that, always have something set aside for yourself. Always. Always. My mother, you know, her and my dad have been married 30-some years. He, uh, you know, he takes care of everything. He takes care of everything. My mom did not have to do anything, like, for real. She worked, but, see, she still had double masters. She still had her, her access to, and all those degrees and shit don't matter. Matrix stuff doesn't matter. It's just to say she still had her sh her shit in order to where if something ever did just happen, she would be set up. Okay, we have to have balance and y'all have to learn how to balance your she motions. Stop running off of emotions we have to start to use logic oh, you don't have to be manipulative when you when you really do move like a goddess you do not have to be manipulative at all you don't even have to say anything that's like coming to the internet and just going on and on and on about <laughs> what's going on in your drama and shit and you don't have to do that sis you ain't got to move like that when you're really connected to your goddess energy. That's why I keep saying we need to stop calling ourselves and stop calling all these women goddesses, goddesses. Goddess is not a title. It is a rank. It is a rank. It's something that you, you earn, okay, through your lifestyle, through healing through the way you move, how you flow, how you navigate in this reality, okay? You're not a goddess just because you're a woman and just because you have some information on Sekhmet and shit or Het Ru. Like, that doesn't mean shit. 
You're a goddess when you heal. You're a goddess when you know how to balance yourself, when you know who you are, when you know your flaws, when you are accountable to yourself, when you are accountable to... Grown women hold themselves accountable. Don't nobody else have to hold me accountable. Now there's other people that, that will. I'm open to correction. That's another thing goddesses are. True goddesses, true queens, we're open to correction. We're open to it because we're striving to be better. You cannot be striving to be better and evolving in your in yourself and within your spirit if you're not open to receiving correction, if you're not open to receiving accountability, if you're not open to someone saying, sis, you're in the wrong. Like, chill the fuck out. Like, sit down and listen. Listen for one second. Close your mouth. Two ears. One mouth. For a reason. Listen. Silence. And that's power. Because you learn. And when you learn, you grow. And you evolve. And you become better. This is what it means to be a goddess. You are accountable to yourself. You sit and you ask yourself, what part do I play in this mess? What is my part in this? Where am, how am I continuing to, am I making this situation better or am I making it worse due to my emotions? Am I really moving with logic? Now, logic. And like I said, this is not to say to be manipulative, to pump a man out of his money, nothing like that at all. In fact, we need to stop doing that shit. We really, I mean, really we could make, we could help mold these men into whatever it is that we want them and desire for them to be for us. We really, really can. And I know this to be fact because I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. This is what I do. My man's mother calls me and told me, I don't know what it is that you do or what it is that you, but you, he is like a totally different man with you. You are truly a Proverbs 31 woman. You are truly a queen. You just, I don't know what kind of, what you do, but it's like something about you just makes him better. It's the goddess energy. It's wisdom. It's knowing how to move. It's knowing how to lead, but lead in silence. See, when I, when he makes me upset and shit, and I've said this in videos before, when he makes me mad and he makes me upset, and he does, you know, because it's just, it's just life. It's just, it's reality. It's just life. But when he does that, I don't yell. I don't cuss him out. I don't do none of that. One, absence. Absence. When your presence weighs heavy, your absence weighs even heavier. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially when your presence is what drives that man to be to be better. Like, it, 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 it makes him want to be better. Like, he's told me that. Like, you make me want to be better you know i don't know what that is but it's like you just drive me to be better it's 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 an energy y'all it's an energy and you gotta come with that energy in order to captivate these men y'all aren't captivating them y'all are just y'all ain't coming with nothing but drama and they don't it, it doesn't drama you know booty titties uh flat flat stomachs who gives a fuck that doesn't matter. Y'all would spend thousands to invest in some BBLs or whatever the fuck you call it. Butt lifts and shit and all these injections and all this, these, these big ass spider lashes and big long claws and shit. But you won't invest in knowledge on how to move and how to captivate these men so that you end up keeping them. There's thousands of women that have BBLs. There's thousands of women that got eye spider eyelashes and claw nails and shit and big ass booties and big ass titties. They're not captivating these men. They're capturing them for a night, for a moment, but they're not captivating them to where they want to really, really, really become the best versions of themselves in order to make you happy. Can you do that? Can you make a man want to go to a courthouse to marry you and to commit to you because you add that much stock to his life. You add that much value to him. Do you add value to his life, sis? If you don't, then you don't offer anything. You have nothing to offer. 
but good looks and some pussy. And that's everywhere. You can find that anywhere. A, a, a good woman, a good wife is rare. Who can find her? She is like a rare ruby. Charm is deceptive. Beauty is fleeting. But a woman who is in her goddess energy, who knows who she is, who knows the God within her, who is aligned with herself, who is in tune, who knows balance between emotion and logic, who knows how to move, how to navigate, how to carry herself, how to walk, how to talk, how to run, how to move a room, how to control the energy of the room without even saying a word. That woman is to be praised. She is to be praised. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. Niggas don't care. They will run up, they will run up and skeet through you and leave and not give a fuck. Cause you don't add any value. You're just fun to play with. And too many of our women are fun to play with but not valuable to these men. And now what we're starting to see happen is now they're just openly saying it. Like, I'm tired of black women. I'm tired. I'm tired of the women. I'm tired of my, I'm tired of our women. You know, a lot of women are upset because Pharaoh, have, he, in his videos, you know, he's just, he's going through his shit. Just like we all go through his shit. He's just going through life, man. And I, I really believe he's, he's saying these things out of, out of just stuff that he's going through, you know, but he has said, you know, black women are just, black women just move sloppy. Black women move, move sloppy. And, you know, there's women in the comments. You used to say that black woman is God and da, 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 da. Now, I want to address that, black women, because y'all just, y'all love to just take, y'all love to just not, just emotional, emotional as hell, and not really listening to what the fuck he's actually saying, Okay. Yes, the black woman is God, but this does not mean that all black women are in their God state. I hope y'all know that. Just because you are a woman and you are black does not mean that you are in your God divine state at all. At all. Okay? And a lot of what he's saying is true. A lot of y'all are not in your in your goddess energy. A lot of you don't even know who you are to be able to even say, I am, I am God. I am a goddess. I run this shit. Like you're, you're not even in tune with your own self <laughs> to be able to like actually say that and it be true. It be the truth. Okay. And the reality is if you are, if the black woman is really God and you are a black woman and you are in your God state and in your divine state and you do and you move like that, there's certain situations that you wouldn't even find yourself in. And that's just real. That's real talk. That's real talk. So we need to be using this situation as a means to heal, you know, I don't know what all really went down, you know, and there's shit. I don't care. I, I honestly believe to use these situations as means to teach lessons to the collective because she's where a lot of black women are a lot. She's in the same situation that a lot of our women are in a lot. <laughs> okay. So instead of looking at and be like, yeah, girl, I'm on your side. Yeah, because you're in the same situation as she is. Look at it and be like, why is it that we're all in this same situation? Like, why? what is it that we need to do to get better? We must be the common denominator of this shit because we're all facing the same thing. Like, what is this? And and then say, and then say well, it's just, it's, it's the black man. It's always him. It's always him. All black men aren't doing this shit. Like, it can't just be all black men. All black men. Cause then what does that say about black women? If they come from us, if they, man, this is why I just, and then when you say that, I remember I did a video on that and I was talking about that, how we are really the ones to be held accountable the most because we are the womb. Our life begins with us. The men come from us. They come from a womb. So we know, we should know how to handle the men 
and how to mold them just like we do with our sons. It's the same thing. It's like, I don't know what, I don't know why. I mean, I, I get, of course, you're going to treat your husband differently from how you do your son. But the basic principles of son, see your son, something happens to him when he hears you praise him. When you praise him, when you uplift him, when you encourage him, when he does something nice for you, you're like, oh, baby, thank you. Oh, give me a kiss. Mommy loves you so much. I love you so much. Mwah. I mean, it just, ah, it just lights them up and then they want to do it again. Men are the same way. <laughs> okay. Whenever he's doing something good for you or nice and you praise him and you uplift him and you affirm him. He's going to keep doing it. I don't know why it's so hard for us to just grasp that. Like, but when you're disrespectful and you're like, well, that's what you should do. Nigga. And you got this attitude, that attitude, that drama, that mouth, man. No, you are not a goddess. If you got all that shit, throw that shit away. It's not working for you, sis. It's not working for you. Clearly. It's not working for you. It's not working for any of us. But this is getting too long. You know, I, I, I really, once I get settled in with my baby, I, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm, I'm planning conferences. Georgia is the first stop for tour. I'm so excited, you know, and I'm really, really, really going hard on our women because we run this shit. We really, really do. They all come from us. And this makes no sense for us to be at the bottom. It makes no sense for us to be just in the state, in the condition that we're in. It makes no damn sense with how much power we hold. How much power we have within us. It makes no sense. And I, and we, we need to use this situation with our brother and sister Yes, affirm them, affirm their peace, affirm their healing, affirm their wisdom, you know, um, don't get too caught up, observe, don't absorb, you understand, but use that situation as a means to learn, like, because <laughs> a lot of women, a lot of our women are exactly where she is, well, not exactly, they don't have the luxury of their man writing them, giving them $15,000, and to build their shit up, saying that they'll help pay for their apartment for a whole year, and want to take care of their, still want to take care of his kids, still want to be there for his children. I mean, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck else do you want? You got it set up, sis. You got it set the fuck up. I don't think, I don't think she understands, like, how many women don't have that. I don't think she understands, man. And it, and it and it's she's young. She's very very young. Twenty three is young. That's 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 a child. That's young. That's very young. I would not advise any woman to get married at twenty three. I did. I was only married for six months. Six months. Okay. And and it's because like I've I've had to grow and 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 mold myself into the woman I am today through life, through lessons, through living. That was like eight years ago. I'm in my thirties now. So I had to, I had to, you have to grow. You have to grow into who you're going to, who you're, who you're going to. All right. But, um, I would just, I would love to just sit down with her and just talk to her. Big sis, little sis, look, sis, look, you, you gotta, you ain't moving. You ain't moving right. <laughs> like for real, you need to, you need to set yourself up for real. So you, you need to set yourself up. Think through think not with emotion i understand you know we get mad things happen i don't know exactly what i if he broke some agreement with polygamy and i'm gonna get on that in a whole nother video with polygamy not specifically them but just polygamy in general first of all the women were the ones who we are the ones who pick the queens we are the ones who pick the sister wives we have to get along with them more than the man does because we're going to be with them the most. The man's going to be out grinding. We're going to be at the house working together, having to take care of the kids and shit. And if the woman ain't at peace, if the women ain't at peace, nobody's at peace. Nobody wins. All right. And nobody wins when the family feuds. Nobody. 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 And it makes no sense to try and destroy a man 
that is providing for you. You understand? It makes no sense to destroy his 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 way of making money, whatever, because you're emotional. You lose, sis. You lose. Your children lose. Your seed. The fruit of your womb. They lose. When you try and destroy that man, y'all all lose. Think. So that's my spiel. I love my sisters. I'm, I really do really, really, really want to see us heal. I really, really, really want to see us starting to just hold ourselves accountable and just have these real ass conversations beyond emotion. Shut the fuck up and all that. You don't know. That. Shut up. Just stop. Be quiet and listen for just listen. Listen to someone who is where you truly probably want to be. All right. Uh, okay. Listen. Listen. Take, get wisdom. I, I used to sit at the feet of older women. When I got out of school at 15, I would go to my granny's house and sit under her for hours and just watch and listen and ask questions. Granny, what about this? So how should I move with this? What is it? She would just pour into me and give me wisdom. I would go to these Titus two classes and stuff and listen to older women that were married and that were in that were married, that were dealing with men and shit and how to move, how to, how to, how to flow as women, as wives, as, 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 as mothers. I was doing that shit. 15, 16, 17. I was getting books. I was listening to audio tapes. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. What men want, what women need, all of that. I was reading those books. I was studying this shit because I always desired to be a businesswoman and a wife and a mother. That's truly what I always desired to be. And I have no shame in my game. I've always, where I am right now, I have always desired to be here. Always. Always. And I had to go through my shit and get stung a little bit and go through experience. But... One thing I'm so proud that I did, and I can truly say this is, it, it counts to why where I am where I am today is because of the older women. Even my friends, uh, just, just older women in my life that would, that would give me wisdom. My grandmother, my mother, you know, that would just give me wisdom and that I would sit under and I would shut up <laughs> and just listen. I didn't have this I know it all concept because I didn't. And I don't. That's why I still sit under women. I listen to Shah Shaharazad Ali. I listen to her. She's probably the only woman I would listen to today, literally. But I listen to her. I take heed to her wisdom. I sit at her feet. I watch those videos. I listen to Queen of Fua. I listen. Listen. I love y'all. Peace, love, light to the gods and the goddesses and healing and accountability. Bye.